so this week looks like it's going to be a pretty much full week of edge coin uh, fair few different machines though uh, so we're on Tuesday Mon Monday yesterday I actually spent a day a with the missus and uh, yeah I have booked in by the looks of it I'm going to be at least hedge cutting till Friday I'm going to have to be careful here because it's a bit wet here um, doing that a with this guy, this is the guy with the Mitsubishi tractor. Uh, tractor. Uh, this is one of two of his edge cutting rigs. So you'll have to excuse the weather because it's gone um, wintry. I mean, camera doesn't pick it up. So just so I'll give you one, well, just stop and have a quick bite to eat, show you exactly what we're uh, what we're working with. So she is New Holland T6165, front linkage, front PTO, 50k tractor with the Electro Command gearbox. So on the 540-65-28 front, 650-68-65-38 rears. Nice looking tractor, quite nice to drive as well. So the edge cutter is Says up there, we're on a McConnell 6585T, which is a six and a half meter telescopic machine, as I said before, with 85 horsepower pumps. Oh, it's horrible out here and cold. And the head, a bit of a specialist head on it. Um, it's a 1.6 meter belt driven head. With, uh, we've got, got if you can see underneath there, competition flails, and it's also got the hydraulic roller, so you can bring it up for working on the edge, and uh, retract it, uh, push it back down when you want to do grass. Unfortunately, well, as you can see up there, field conditions aren't very good, so we're trying. I'm not doing much in the way of trimming the grass, just to try and save an extra pass it's just you know if we can get the hedges not back in something like shape because then you see it's it's quite big stuff it's two three year growth the tractor's getting quite muddy so yeah i just thought i'd show you the tractor i'm now going to go hide back in the cab and finish me dinner which i have actually bought with me Oh, one of them things. So at least on a cold day, you can get a and still get a hot meal. If you are interested, she is also on the Revolution controls, the fancy screen and all that. We do quite like the, these controls. Seem pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to finish my dinner. So. Conditions down here aren't as good as we'd uh, hoped. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually topping this hedge over a ditch. Now, I know it's not the ideal, but the other side of that ditch is just too wet. It's just trying to figure out what we can do to do the best job. Here's one advantage of a bigger hedge cutter. You know, you we do have this option so you see I've already done one pass down here and we're pretty solid I think there's actually uh, actually a hardcore track down here so I'm just doing the first rough cut over the top of the hedge trying my best to stop out the ditch Right, so as you can probably tell by that sun, we are getting towards the end of the day. 
still going quite nicely. Just taking the last little slithers off down there. So um, we'll be uh, we're drawing to the end of the day with uh, this machine. Um, yeah, tomorrow's going to be a bit of a calm down, really. You'll you'll see why in a minute. It's um, not not on quite such fancy rig, but end of the day, it's a farmer's own machine. Um, they don't. For what they're, they're using the machine for, they don't justify a rig like this. You know what, I always do this. Turn you down, so you can hear me. So yeah, we've done quite a, quite a stack really today, so... It has been a bit difficult travelling. Um, <laughs> The frost had pretty much gone by mid-morning, which, yeah, wasn't exactly what we wanted. But we've persevered. The um, lack of rain for for the while and a bit of wind and the uh, the frost have just firmed the ground up a bit. Well, oh, I think that's enough for one day. It's gone um, less light than it was, so. All folded up, nice and tidy, and I'm just going to quietly trundle my way back across. Hopefully, the lad I'm working for is uh, he's close to finishing as well, and uh, we can call it a day. Right, so we're another sunny, frosty morning. You can see we've had a little bit of snow. Different rig today. See if you. I'm not going to say anything. See if you uh, pick up the difference. So this time we're five meter PA 50A high reach. Yeah, got a bit of age to it, but it's farmer's own machine. Uh, tractor is. 54-55 Massey I have remembered my mounts today as well so looks a bit oily because uh, they were out using it yesterday and did have a pipe go it happens so yeah that's our rig for the day and uh, that's our view for the day not bad eh well, that stuffed it, didn't it? I mean, I, I, I can see very well out, out the window now. I don't need to worry about a dirty window. But, um, maybe not quite so good for having things thrown at you. It happens. Uh, just going back to the farm now, I'll just see whether there's another tractor available or whether I'm done or whether I'm going to get told not to bother ever coming back. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh! Yeah, straight to reverse coin and we are out on the 7616. We're, we're, we're into the comfy old boot moment. Did a bit car with about minus two, minus three this morning. So just getting everything warmed up and get everything going. You can hear both the tractors running that's going out today, and uh, both the edge cutters that are going out today running. So stick a bit of fuel in them, and then uh, yeah, we're going to go uh, hit some edges.
so we're on Saturday, so we're actually on the day that this video will be uploaded. I hope you can hear, hear me because I know this cab is a bit noisy. This is the little uh, 5455 that, well, basically you saw me show you around it and you saw all me break it. So we didn't really get a fair shout at seeing what it's capable of. So. We're, uh, we're back today, Saturday morning, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd see if I can get a bit of footage, just a little bit of footage of this in action, and me making a prat myself out of it. Um, just finish the video off. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, they're, they're trying hard, but they've, uh, they've still not managed to uh, get that bit of land to take off yet. I think they need a few more propellers on it yet. 